Hello YouTube, my name is Triple J here and this will be my my last commentary before Halo Reach. Um, I'm really gonna miss a lot of things before about Modern Warfare 2 before I move on to Halo Reach. I, I wanted, I can't um, miss anything about Halo 3 because Frankly, I didn't really play it a lot. Um, even though I had it since I had my Xbox, I really not, never seemed to play Halo 3 uh, a lot. Uh, or at least not as much as I play in Modern Warfare 2. So, um, I'm going to talk about things I'll miss about Modern Warfare 2 and things I won't miss. Uh, the first thing, of course, everyone hates this is Commando. Um, I'm s Really glad that uh, Halo Reach doesn't have this, even though it's really um, difficult to, to compare it to two games because they're two totally different games. And before you tr um, spam me with disagreement or whatever, I'm just comparing the two games because my, I don't, I didn't really play Halo Three much. Played a little bit of it, um, so and I don't know everything or um, a lot about it. Like I've only played like two or three maps on it out of the many they have. So uh, there's nothing for me to compare to in comparison with Reach. So that's why I decided to compare Halo Reach with Modern Warfare 2 because I play Modern Warfare 2 pretty much every day. Um, so, um, I'm really excited about Halo Reach, I have many things planned for it, maybe even a Machinima series, um, and I, I just can't wait for it, I'm really excited, uh, th there are no words to describe how excited I am, because Halo Reach is just five hours away, um, what I'm doing is commentary, which is about seven o'clock right now, uh, and I'm just waiting for the game patiently. Um, the wait is very excruciating, though. But I'm trying my base best to calm myself down and and tell myself that the game will come in time. Um, and I probably sound really bad right now because I am really ecstatic about the game like I've said like five times already but um and I also said I was going to compare it which I haven't yet which I'm going to right now so even though they're two different games they do have their similarities like the both are first person shooters um and that's probably the only similarity they have. Although, the battle, the, um, what is it called? The BR, as I believe, it um, looks exactly like the Famous, which I'm using right now. Um, that's, other than that, that's about it that I compared to. So, let's compare Black Ops then, uh, since Surprisingly, Black Ops and Halo Reach have a lot in common, and they're both coming out this year, so that really struck me as uh, no coincidence. Like, um, and Black Ops both have currency. In Black Ops, it's called COD points. In Halo, it's called um, credits. And then there, you can also customize your own character. And Halo Reach, you buy armor for like your helmet, your belt, your chest, and stuff like that. And in Black Ops, you can buy, um, as I believe, uh, your perks, which also determine what you wear. And then you can customize your weapons, like the clan tag and custom reticules and stuff like that. So both games are a lot. It's a lot similar, uh, surprisingly. So, 
So that's I've been thinking about that ever since the September first multiplayer release because um I was really like surprised that Halo Reach and Black Ops Outlaw Common even though they're two different games but they're it's just really strange I don't know I don't know it's just like Halo almost similar to Black Ops doesn't that sound strange to you guys but um it, it sounds strange to me if it doesn't sound strange to you but oh okay onwards uh, like I said, this is my last commentary, so I'll try and make it, well, not my last commentary, the last commentary before Halo Reach. Um, probably, maybe, the last commentary for Black Ops, because, I mean, not Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, because once Halo Reach comes out, just two months after that, Black Ops comes out, so, so maybe this will be the last game I'll play in Modern Warfare 2. Which is kind of sad because there I had some really good times in this game, and then uh, there were some really bad ones. Um, as do everyone who's played the game, there are several bad times. But luckily for me, I had a lot of good times. Uh, more good times to outweigh the bad times. So this game has. Um, placed me in a good mood cons consistently even though when I get frustrated I know what to do to make myself better uh, what I do is that I get up stop playing go downstairs and get a cup of water maybe go into the basement because it's cold maybe lay and lay there for like five minutes and then come back upstairs and I'm all ready to go getting nukes and stuff like that so that's what I do when I get frustrated, and it happens a lot. I cannot tell you how many times it, that happens. Um, and that's w the one way I find that helps me with my frustration. But hopefully I don't have to do that in Halo Reach, because I know Halo Reach will be a great game. Uh, because it has Firefight, Multiplayer, New Campaign, Forge World, which I'm really, really excited about. You cannot, I cannot tell you guys how excited I'm about Forge World. Uh, I love to play, I love to build stuff. Um, if you've been following me on Twitter, you notice I've been playing Minecraft because I saw it uh, first on Cena's channel and it looked like a game I would like to play. Um, before Minecraft, I used to play a game called Roblox, I believe it is. And it's a lot similar to Minecraft, but a little bit more, um, what do you call it, St like, stuff you can mess around with. That's I can't um, say words that, dis that would help describe what I mean. But there's a lot more stuff, like, you can have weapons, like, snipers, uh, assault rifles bows, crossbows, arrows, there's a lot of things you can put in that game. Um, the graphics may be a little bit better than Minecraft, but Minecraft, because of its simple arity, it makes it a fun and enjoyable game. It reminds us of what games used to be like 10 years ago, when we used to all play Pac-Man. And indeed, of course, I played Pac-Man, even though I didn't quite understand the whole game. Now I do, of course, since I'm older. And um, that's about it. Um, I'd like to say thanks, guys, for watching my last commentary before Halo Reach. I have a lot planned for Halo Reach. I do, I'm do. i going to do a campaign walkthrough, play some multiplayer, play some firefight, and then give a game review of the whole entire game and hopefully I can do that in one whole day so by the tomorrow night I'll hopefully have a ton of videos up about Halo Reach 
um, maybe helping you guys decide on getting the game because when I asked my friends if they were getting the game, a lot of them said no because I don't know why. It, it doesn't seem interesting to you, them. So hopefully I can convince you guys if, you don't ha if you're not getting the game to buy the game because it's a great game. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.